to my channel thank you so much for coming back here to watch my videos if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and if you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that I upload so dear friends I remember there is a video I did where I talked of questions to ask and questions not to ask a guy on online dating apps but unfortunately you ladies have been doing this the wrong way why am I saying this you find that you're chatting with a guy for that first time and then you ask him questions that will give him a very bad impression of you because the questions that you ask him the first time they are the wrong questions to be asked for the first time when you start getting to know someone i advise you guys if you really want to find someone on online dating apps you have to take one step at a time so there are some questions that you shouldn't ask the first time when you start chatting with the guy and that is going to be our today's video questions not to ask a guy for the first time because those questions might make that man run away for the first time <laughs> like i told you when i did a video of how to chat with a man on online dating apps there are some messages when you receive from a guy that first time you know the guy is a player and this is the same as a lady chatting to a man there are some questions which you ask a guy for the first time he knows completely that you are desperate you are in a hurry you want to run away from your problems <laughs> or you are looking for a guy to send you money <laughs> <laughs> so that is going to be our today's video guys like i said but to add on that i can't just talk of questions not to ask for the first time when you chat with a guy on online dating apps and forget about questions to ask the right questions to ask for the first time when you chat with a guy so without wasting much of your time let us jump into this video so friends Question number one, not to ask a guy for the first time when you start communicating. I'm not saying never ask about it, no, but for the first time, it's a no. Never ask a guy about his family when you start communicating. Let's imagine it's a third message, fourth message, <laughs> or a few hours of communicating. You want to see this guy's family photos. If he told you he has good kids, then you want to see the photos of the kids no guys it is wrong because remember i told you when i was discussing about dating men from scandinavia like norway denmark <laughs> finland these people are very very reserved and when it comes to their families it is a very sensitive thing so when you start chatting with this guy the first message the second message and you're like bella told us to keep the communication flowing we have to ask questions can you send me a photo of your family can you send me a photo of your kids no it is going to put this man off even if this guy was a very good man a very serious man he's gonna be like you are too much you are in a hurry to get to know him let's be honest on this to this guy you are a stranger because he is just starting to get to know you so him sharing with you about his family i think that's a bit too much <laughs> and to your side too never start to introduce this guy to your family you send your family photos to this guy for that first few hours of communicating this is the same he'll be like you are very desperate to get married or you are so in a hurry to get to know him give him a time to breathe give him a time to do things you know spontaneously okay it's not only that don't go ahead and start telling this guy about your financial status if you are a lady i talked about this who is well off you've got let's say a very good business everything is you know booming <laughs> don't tell this guy he is just a stranger what if you open up about your life your financial status and this guy is a scammer then he starts planning on how to scam you <laughs> some men are professional scammers <laughs> they might come up with plans 
that you don't have an idea about so be very very careful don't give too much information to a guy that you're just getting to know there is a lady i've been helping she went ahead and told this guy everything about her her financial status she has got an apartment with a pool you know gave him lots lots of information but in real sense that guy was just a player so after talking to her she was like oh my god i regret to give this guy lots of information about me i didn't know he was just a player this is the secret for you to succeed this is the secret for you to get that beautiful success online dating love story and guys because to this man you are totally a stranger he will need time to get to know you he will need time to make you his friend he will need time to trust you completely before he starts opening up about his family we can see even from the success stories that i have been sharing with you these ladies get introduced to the mothers or to the family not on the first day no <laughs> some of them chat for a month some two months some three months before they get introduced to the family members so this shows you how things should go <laughs> take your time i repeat don't be in a hurry second question you shouldn't ask a guy on online dating apps for that first time when you start communicating i told you meeting is very very important when you are chatting with a guy on online dating apps you should know when are you going to meet because when you meet that is when your relationship becomes real <laughs> that is the time for him to put things into actions right <laughs> but uh, this question shouldn't be among of the first questions you ask a guy for that first time because some guys are very very clever you will ask them when are we going to meet second message or the third message those few hours of getting to know each other you ask him can we meet are you going to visit me or are you going to invite me then because this guy is one of those guys who are after nude photos or online sex he's gonna give you a fake promise that yes i am going to invite you and in real sense this guy is not even in a position to invite you <laughs> so for him to get nude photos from you or to get online sex from you of course he's gonna promise you i am going to invite you after a month <laughs> and because you don't have enough experience on this you will be like yes he's going to invite me <laughs> guys when a guy tells you he's gonna invite you before you believe it you need to first get his documents <laughs> of the invitation and then believe he's gonna invite you but him just telling you i will invite you after a month and then already you want to treat this guy as your boyfriend that is wrong he will take your nude photos and after that he's gonna block you these things have been happening i'm talking out of experience so don't put yourself in a trap by asking this question <laughs> for that first time when you start communicating with a guy but to add on that why am i saying you shouldn't ask a guy this question for the first time is because you can't just accept to be invited by the guy that you really don't know very well so before you accept a guy's invitation or before you accept this guy to come to your country <laughs> at least you should get to know each other very well create that friendship create trust that will lead you to leave your country and go to another continent visit this guy or accept this guy to come because when he comes at least you know lots of things about him you will have things to talk about and you will have plans to put into actions but when you ask a guy will you invite me this guy doesn't know you very well and you don't know him that well what's the meaning of meeting why should you meet <laughs> never do such kind of a mistake because when you do it <laughs> these are the same same guys they come to your country they take your goodies and after the goodies nothing else because you never talked anything more than meeting meet for what <laughs> 
your meeting should have a reason i told you a guy is coming in africa why is he coming to do what <laughs> only see you and then leave Oh, a guy is inviting you in his country to do what <laughs> does this guy intend to marry you you don't know because you never talked about that a guy invites you in his country takes you to the hotel because <laughs> he has never talked more about his life so even if he takes you to the hotel you won't be able to ask anything <laughs> you had time to ask you never asked so at that time it is just giving the goodies <laughs> and then return to your country i am laughing but guys this is very very serious don't ask that question because it will put you in trouble you remember what happened to lola when she went to spain so be very very careful yes you can talk about meeting you can ask a guy when are you guys are going to meet but note that first time or those few hours of getting to know each other on online dating apps Question number three, not to ask a guy for that first time when you start communicating, sex, talks. Hey, oh my God, I've been talking about this, but I still get questions. I am repeating it and on a serious note, guys. When you first start chatting with a guy on online dating apps and then the guy starts talking about sex, please please nothing good will come out of that communication nothing good all the guy is telling you i want to see your body put some bikini actually there's a friend of mine i've been helping <laughs> girl i'm not mentioning your name because most of you you come on my dm and you're like bella please i want a secret <laughs> I always give examples for other ladies to learn yes so I have this friend of mine she was chatting with a guy this guy was so good at talking so good at communicating to an extent he convinced this friend of mine to send the photo of her in a bikini and she did guys she said i had to sacrifice bella you told us that to be in an interracial relationship we have to make sacrifices <laughs> so i really pushed myself so hard i sent the photos of me in a bikini to this guy sorry i did not tell you before i did that <laughs> but the guy seems good what i told her is you did wrong because i'm telling you two ladies if a guy starts telling you he wants to see you in bikini photos you know the next request will be he wants to see you naked yes that is where the conversation will go any man that starts communicating with you then talks of sex you know that guy is not serious just put x and move forward because guys sex talk for that first time when you are just getting to know each other it is not the right way to start a relationship not at all online dating apps has got weird weird people it has got maniacs it has got i don't know guys how i can tell you but online dating apps you just know it has got its own darker side so be very very careful of whatever you do with these men on online dating apps so when it comes to sex you as a lady some of you have been like i don't want to give my goodies <laughs> till marriage i remember i talked of this but today i want to talk more deep about this we are still on the sex talk <laughs> so you chat with a guy it is that first time he sent you maybe three messages you're just first getting to know each other and then you tell this guy i don't want to give my goodies till marriage <laughs> what i'm telling you beautiful ladies even if this guy was a very serious guy a guy who could have waited till marriage he's gonna run because that is not the right time to start talking of something like that we don't know if this guy will like you we don't know if he will reach to that extent of wanting to marry you <laughs> take one step at a time yes first you need to wait 
till this guy gets into you yes like he's crazily crazily in love with you at that time you can just bring it now a question what do you think about not sharing the goodies till marriage you ask him his own opinion <laughs> then because he loves you so much he is your friend he's gonna answer you and you can tell him my opinion is this and i would like it to be this way you know we ladies if you have a man and a man loves you he always wants you to win so with this too if this guy is really really into you and it is very very important for you not to share your goodies till marriage he's gonna accept actually there is a couple which got married this saturday and they have never shared the goodies yes the lady visited him in his country no goodies were shared because they talked about it but it wasn't for that first time okay so you ladies that don't want to share your goodies take time before you start telling a guy make sure the guy is really into you then bring it up <laughs> yeah and the reason to why i'm advising you not to tell a guy you're not ready to share your goodies till marriage for that first time those few hours of communicating it's because before you go to goodies or before you share your goodies guys you have to create a very strong relationship yes first that and then when you guys are inseparable and when you guys click you connect you have got chemistry the goodies part comes <laughs> so you can't just jump you haven't known the guy very well we don't know if he likes you or not then you start talking about i'm not going to give you my goodies till marriage <laughs> no that's the wrong 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 way yes just wait <laughs> so i hope on this you have understood I talked of sex on the part of the guy, those who start with sex talks when they first start communicating with you. And I've also talked on the side of the lady, if you want to talk about not giving your goodies till marriage, then not on that first message or those few hours of communicating. Question number four, not to ask a guy for that first time on online dating apps. I talked of this the last time I told you you should ask but it shouldn't be on the first day if a guy has got a plan to marry you or he plans to get married in the future it's not in that first message i repeat it's important yes but it shouldn't be in the first messages that you send to the guy for that first time when you start getting to know each other because when you ask him such kind of a question, he will get an impression that you are in a hurry. You really want to get married so badly. <laughs> so no matter how much you are desperate, please, please first create that concrete relationship whereby there is good communication. This guy calls you every day. He shares with you all his daily activities and maybe you have been chatting for a month, two months. This guy has even introduced you to his family, to his kids. <laughs> yeah everything is good 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 and this guy has even said i love you then at that moment you can ask him that question because it's important if someone is talking to you every day is sharing with you his daily activities is telling you he loves you then it makes sense for you to ask him if he plans to get married in the future <laughs> <laughs> I remember in the past there is an example I gave you but I know most of you haven't seen this video I gave you an example of a lady who was dating a guy and all the time they could chat with this girl she could end with an image of a ring meaning the girl was asking a ring from a guy this guy was like no the lady is in a hurry to get married is someone who doesn't even want to go through the whole process of dating getting to know me if you are compatible or not she is just into marriage the guy wasn't ready to be pushed or pressured <laughs> 
to get married so fast as the lady wanted so he had to end the relationship so this is the same as you asking a guy on those first messages if he plans to get married or if he's gonna marry you <laughs> How can he tell you he's gonna marry you whereby the guy doesn't know you well? You really need to get to know each other. Yes, you have to go through that. And then, like I said, when you see this guy is really into you, you know lots of things about him, and he shows you that he cares so much about you, bring the question up and he's going to answer you with honesty. <laughs> but if you come across those players and you ask this question for that first time, of course he's gonna tell you yes my love because <laughs> there's some guys who calls you babes my love sweetheart honey you know in those first messages those are players guys i know you like to hear beautiful words but <laughs> those words are just lies 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 so never ask a guy if he will marry you or if he plans to get married to you in that first message it will put him off if that guy is really serious because a serious man wants to take his time to get to know you and be sure of what he is going to put himself into and he believes if you are a lady who understands yourself who really wants that healthy relationship healthy marriage in the future you won't be in a rush to get married to someone that you don't know question number five not to ask a guy that first time when you start communicating is not to ask a guy to show you his house guys when i talked of questions to ask and questions not to ask a guy on online dating apps i talked of the guy showing you around especially when you talk on a video call <laughs> but guys don't do a mistake of wanting to see this guy's house <laughs> those few hours maybe you chat with a guy for three hours or four hours then you decide to exchange whatsapp number that same same day you go to whatsapp a guy tells you i would like to see you let's make a video call don't be like okay now because we are on a video call i have remembered bella said we should see the house <laughs> then you'll be like show me your house i want to see the rooms i want to see your kitchen <laughs> i want to see your garden is that your house or you're renting <laughs> no dear ladies don't ask him such kind of a question as long as a guy told you he lives alone and maybe makes that first video call you see him calm talking to you calmly he's not scared of anything or anyone <laughs> then you can keep getting to know each other and i know he's gonna call you again and again if this guy is serious if he is really interested in you so slowly by slowly when this guy becomes your friend you are so free to ask him anything you can be like oh we have been talking for quite some time i never asked you this i would like to take a look at your house but at that time that guy is really into you at that time you have connection at that time this guy has shared with you lots lots of things about him not on the first message or not on that first video call that this guy makes with you <laughs> guys there's some questions when you ask a man on online dating apps that first time the guy feels like you're challenging him or you treat him like someone stupid someone who doesn't know what he is doing yes so be very very careful when it comes to the questions that you ask for that first time question number six not to ask a guy on online dating apps for that first time when you start getting to know each other his financial status and by the way guys you should never ask a guy about his financial status never if you really want to find love on online dating apps if you don't want this man to see you as someone who wants to treat him as an ATM <laughs> <laughs> no man wants such kind of a woman so never be like tell me how much is your salary <laughs> so that means you're gonna rate this guy by his salary <laughs> this is very very funny i told you to be clever 
if this guy is financially stable you are going to know it you will see the actions <laughs> you don't need to use lots of energy you don't need to ask this guy his salary if the guy is responsible if the guy is financially stable and is on online dating apps to search for true love that means this guy is gonna go on online dating apps and when he finds the girl that he thinks he wants to marry he's gonna invite the guy he will pay for everything <laughs> that means he is responsible he was prepared he is financially stable yes you don't need to ask you need to just watch the actions <laughs> and by the way guys people are different there are some men who will never even share the amount of their salaries to their wives but they are living good everything is fine it's not that this guy is in financial crisis not at all but it's confidential he prefers to keep it for himself <laughs> so don't go ahead and be like how much are you paid <laughs> just leave that girl <laughs> just concentrate on the actions of the guy <laughs> you will know slowly by slowly you're gonna find out question number seven never ask a guy on online dating apps for that first time when you start getting to know each other it's about prenup agreement and 50 50. i remember i got a request of a video about prenup agreement I'm going to do that. I'm preparing everything because I want to know from different countries how it's done. In Italy, I know how it's done because I went through that before I got married. Okay, so I want to get some other few countries. I'm still doing a research. Girl, I will do that because I know it's very, very important. So back to the video, never ask this question to a guy about 50-50 about prenup agreement on your first conversation. So some of you who don't know what a prenup agreement is, it's an agreement that you enter before you get married. You have to sign that and it is all about the properties, not the properties only of the guy, your properties too, if you've got some properties. <laughs> or if you're working, of course, you'll have the salary. So that means your money that enters in your bank, you have to decide whether to use it, both of you, or you prefer using your own money and the guy uses his own money. If you have properties, should you just keep your properties and the guy keeps his properties case of a divorce <laughs> so that's an agreement some couples agree that they are going to share all their properties and if they separate then 50 50 he takes 50 you take 50 but there are some couples which agree that i am going to stay with my own things when you separate a man takes all his things and you take all your things because you never agreed <laughs> to put them together and use them as one. I'm trying to put it as easy as possible so that you can understand. So basically, that's all about the prenup agreement. So imagine you get a very beautiful message from a guy. This guy seems serious then you start to get to know each other he sends you some messages very very good messages that he wants to get to know you more then you bring up a question of prenup agreement this guy is gonna run because <laughs> it's not time yet to talk about that i'm telling you dear beautiful ladies if you really want to find love online study the guy you are chatting to slowly by slowly don't be in a hurry to get all the answers about this guy i've been seeing you you chat with a guy just few messages then run to me bella please is this guy serious <laughs> give him more time get to know him because time always tell yes so when you talk to this guy everything goes very well then he starts talking about getting married to you but that's after some time 
you can talk about it you know discuss about it but not in a way that you tell him i want it to be this way first listen to his own opinion and then give him your own point of view so that you can come together and agree because when you start forcing things you want them to be this way you want them to be this way that is when men get frustrated and be like why is she forcing a lot <laughs> I hope you understand me guys. Take one step at a time. I've been saying this the whole video, but yes, you should do that for you to find love on online dating apps. So I talked about 50-50, but it's not as same as prenup agreement. This is the 50-50 whereby maybe you're not married yet, you decide to live together before marriage, you work and he works, then comes about sharing the bills. <laughs> so you can't ask a guy the first time about 50-50, no. There should be something that will push you to ask such kind of a question, not out of blue. <laughs> you ask a guy about 50-50. I told you that some countries like the Netherlands, Sweden, where 50-50 is okay. You can go to a restaurant with your boyfriend and when the bill comes, you divide it. <laughs> you pay as you spent and he pays as he spent. Or you live together and you have to share the bills. You have to pay 50% of your expenditure and he has to pay 50% of his expenditure as long as you don't like 50 50 it shouldn't make you ask the guy for the first time because even those countries that it's their culture not all men follow that culture especially when they date someone outside their country someone who is not from there culture example a guy is from the netherlands then dates a girl from uganda or kenya they are 50 50 it's not their culture this guy won't force on you 50 50 kind of a relationship so like i said study a guy these guys who are always after 50 50 when it comes for you to visit them do you know what they're going to tell you you have to pay for your ticket and for him he will pay for the whole things that you will use when you arrive or if a guy wants to visit you and he's those guys who likes 50 50 the guy will be like i'm gonna pay for my ticket but the hotel you will have to pay so when you hear something like that that's a red flag you don't even have to ask the guy are you into 50 50 relationship <laughs> it clearly shows that he is into 50 50 relationship but don't rush to ask this question so guys with all these that i have discussed especially you ladies that are interested in interracial dating interracial marriages you can see why i always say it is not advisable to rush into marriage there is a lot of things you need to know about a guy and it takes time to know someone very well so get to know a guy very well before you enter into marriage so friends, we are done on questions not to ask a guy for that first time on online dating apps when you start communicating. Now, two questions to ask a guy for that first time when you start communicating. Guys, before I start telling you the questions to ask a guy on online dating apps that first time, I would like to share with you a tip <laughs> on this. When you start communicating with a guy for that first time on online dating apps, you have to make it as enjoyable, as interesting as possible. So that you keep this guy chatting with you, so that you make this guy wanting to keep chatting with you by not asking too complicated questions, questions that will stress him and frustrate him. <laughs> That means he will run. So make it so light, enjoyable, and that way a guy will want to keep on communicating with you. <laughs> so back to the questions to ask a guy for that first time on online dating apps. Question number one, you can ask a guy for that first time, it's about his hobbies, 
things that he likes to do when he is free question number two we imagine you are a black woman then you're chatting to this guy he's white you can ask him any experience dating a black woman and then he will tell you if yes or not if he tells you not you can just ask him how do you feel of you dating a black woman just listen to his own point of view and don't rush to get offended <laughs> there is a lady who was chatting with a guy and then this guy talks something about black people but what he talked about guys it was the truth only that this lady never had any exposure of how things are in america the guy was a white guy from america an american guy <laughs> then she panicked and was like no i'm so offended so when she came to me i told her girl what he talked about it's the truth it doesn't mean the guy is a racist or anything no that is the real situation in america she was like oh my god so i overreacted <laughs> yeah so ask him that and listen to him don't panic and start feeling offended no guys question number three you can ask a guy for that first time on online dating apps you can ask him why is he on the app and what is his experience on the app guys asking him all these questions makes you keep on chatting more and more things might rise which will push the conversation to be longer and that is what we are aiming at so when he gives his own experience i assume that he will also ask you your experience on online dating apps and why are you there <laughs> yeah so question number four to ask a guy on online dating apps for that first time when you start communicating <laughs> I talk to hobbies so you can ask him things that he hates <laughs> and listen to that <laughs> number five I talked about this when I shared with you one of the success stories food so you can ask this guy for that first time talk of food <laughs> his favorite food if he has ever tried African food if you're from Africa if you're from Philippines then talk of food from Philippines <laughs> if he has ever tasted that if he knows how to cook food from your country and also you can ask him about his food tell him you would like him to teach you how to cook his food you know such kind of things so i told you not to talk of the family for that first time like wanting to go so deep <laughs> to this guy's family but you can ask him is he the first born the middle or the last born in his family so that you know and put some comment about that <laughs> don't be like okay that's good you're the last born okay <laughs> add something to that you know <laughs> put a joke into that but a good joke okay don't go and start offending people question number six you can ask a guy for that first time on online dating apps you can ask this guy about the weather in his country so we know like in tanzania it does not snow <laughs> we only see the snow on the top of the mount kilimanjaro <laughs> that's it <laughs> so if you're chatting with a guy let's say this guy is from norway you can ask him about the weather in norway then he'll talk about snow you'll be like i never experienced snow i'd like to experience it one day you know comes lots lots of words to talk about snow or to talk about weather while him telling you about the weather in his country you can also give him your own experience about weather in your country question number seven to ask a guy for that first time when you start communicating ask him about languages how many languages are spoken in his country i know he's gonna tell you and you can tell him the languages that are spoken in your country try to go and maybe google one of the word in his language and then write it to him tell him you'd like to learn about his language and you would like to teach him your language this will keep your conversation going forward <laughs> question number eight you can ask a guy for that first time when you start communicating the job he does it's very very important but don't go deep to ask about the salary we have talked about that <laughs> 
it's important to know if a guy works or he doesn't work simple as that for that first time question number nine to ask a guy on online dating apps for that first time and it is the last one for today ask him about his past love relationship experience but don't go deep into that just ask him if he has ever married before then if yes he's gonna tell you but again remember <laughs> before all these questions make sure you have passed through his profile <laughs> because if a guy tells you he is divorced then you don't need to ask a guy if he has ever married but if you find on his profile he did not write anything then it can be one of those first questions to ask him so friends before i end this video i have secrets <laughs> that will help you on your first conversation with a guy that you meet on online dating apps some men don't like women who act like they know it all so no matter you have enough experience about online dating apps no matter you feel like you are so intelligent you know it all the way you think don't show it to him no just sit and observe this guy make your first conversation enjoyable like i said but avoid wanting to appear i know it all <laughs> what can you tell me no 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 that's not good this guy would be like if you have all that experience why are you still here <laughs> And sometimes guys, when you act like you know it all, do you know what happens? <laughs> they will still play you because <laughs> there are some more clever men than you. So there is no need for you to show this at all. <laughs> so beautiful friends, I hope this video helps you in your first conversation with a guy on online dating apps. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. God bless you. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super good. Comment below what you think about this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please, please join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, I love you so much, guys. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Bye.